Here is a 2024 Buick Invista Avenir in Cinnabar Metallic over Gideon in Ebony Mix. This is all new, the slope roof line design that's bringing Buick back into the segment. You're getting more safety features, more standard features. You can option features on all trims. You don't have to go to the top tier. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. The Avenir, the Sport Touring, and the Preferred will have a different fascia because they'll be unique to the trim. So I like this because you're getting the black ice Avenir grill inserts for this trim. LED headlights, daytime runnings, turn signals, and the new Buick badging, which makes it look more in today's time. The lower fascia will get the same body color as the body. I like that we get these air vents. They're non-functional with the chrome that's going to accent. And comparing this to Honda or Mazda, this is going to be a lot more of a fresh look. It keeps a standard two face because of the headlight assembly and your daytime runnings. Underneath the hood can only option one engine, a 1.2 liter EcoTech three-cylinder turbo char, producing 137 horsepower and 162 pound-feet of torque paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. Buick is claiming this is more of a city driving vehicle. MPGs, 28 for the city, 32 for the highway, only a front-wheel drive option. If you want all-wheel drive, you have to go to the Encore and they have two different engine options, which if you do the front-wheel drive there, it's a CVT. So just to tick the box if you don't want to go that route. Because this is the Avenir, 19-inch exclusive multi-spoke alloy wheels. And to give a little bit more in the value of this, six standard features, including automatic emergency braking with forward collision alert and IntelliBeam automatic high beams with following distance indicator, front pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, and lane departure warning. An optional rear cross traffic blind spot monitoring in which we have and the rain sensing automatic wipers. Chrome will be found on the side and the slope roof line design is going after the Germans and it should because that's where the segment is going. So comparing it against Honda, this is going to look more athletic on the exterior. Going against Mazda, you're gonna have less blind spots even though you don't have that third window here. But I like that they put this little grill pattern that just makes it more performance oriented even though there's not much performance underneath the hood. With a McPherson strut front suspension and a Watts link rear suspension which will help for sound deadening. Also, this is going to help with a smoother drive because of the way it's designed for the rear instead of a standard multi-link suspension setup. LED taillights with the LED center bar and turn signals. The lower is going to receive the satin aluminum in the chrome trim. I like what Buick has done here with the reverse parking sensors. They put one right in the center because it's not that wide of a vehicle, even though it has a wide profile stance to the front. The coupe design gets the gloss black elements with the shark fan antenna, and you have a little bit of a trunk lip spoiler to keep that sporty design even into the rear. Power lift gate is an option on all trims. It's going into 20.7 cubic feet with a large privacy cover nooks on the side and underneath the floor gets a spare tire and really you have maybe four inches all around it to put even more storage. Split fold the rear bench at a 40-60 split going through the back door or if you're tall enough you can do it from here. Increasing cargo to 42 cubic feet. It is a slope roof line so you'll lose a little bit of storage capacity but if you need more go on to the Encore Let's go inside and start up this Ecotec three-cylinder turbo so you can hear that exhaust. The Avenir starts off with 10-way power seat adjustment for the driver, heated front seats, four-way manual adjustment for the passenger. Avenir is going to be in the headlight rest with the contrast stitching, perforated interior, and the piping. Headroom and leg room. It's a sporty style for the dashboard layout and they give plenty of space in 
the footwell area. Standard flat steering wheel. This one's wrapped. We have a one panel curve with two screens. Standard 11 inch ultra wide touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse and we have a reverse camera with trajectory. So I'm going to cover the whole screen, standard climate control settings, piano black buttons are going to be surrounding the satin aluminum and it goes onto the contrast stitching dashboard. Six speakers will be standard. The driver's cluster is a standard eight inch digital reader going into a wireless charging pad, USB 12 volts and the key fob for the new Buick. Piano black yet again comes around the gear lever and you have the aluminum look that goes into more storage. It's going to be a bit more sporty, opens up and it's a deep storage pocket. It's just not necessarily so wide. And the door panels configure into the dash. And I like the way the air vents are put right in this area because it looks more sporty and athletic. And then it gives that carbon fiber interior look one touch down for all the windows. Soft where it needs to be and a medium sized storage pocket with a beverage holder carved out with a moon roof and an auto dimming rear view mirror. Headroom for the back and this is a slope roof line. It does carve out a bit here but it's still doable for a six foot three. Leg room, you can see I have plenty of space. Storage behind both of the front seats, USB and a storage tray. The floor is flat. Armrests and cup holders are only on the Avenir. Lift that up for later, open up the door, and you're gonna get more of the everyday materials that's found on the top portion. They give you a little bit of soft area where it needs to be one touch down in a medium sized storage pocket that doesn't really have any beverage holders carved out. Sliding into the center, the good thing about a flat floor, when the rails are pushed up and they're pushed back enough, you can fit without having to share feet space. But and shoulder space isn't too bad. It's not necessarily so wide of a vehicle. Headroom sitting into the center when you sit back, it's actually not too bad because it's carved out for you behind the interior lighting. What's nice about the Buicks is the Buick quiet tuning, which is what these little speakers are. This is going to be the noise cancelization that's on the roof. Buick's new Invista with the 1.2 liter Ecotec three cylinder turbocharge, 137 horsepower and 162 pound feet of torque. That's 12 horsepower less than the 1.3 Encore and 18 pound feet of torque less. So I kind of would have liked to see that engine here to give it a little bit more motivation, but I like that it's standard with the six speed automatic transmission. You don't have to go front wheel, all wheel to worry about changing a CVT or anything like that like you would in the Encore. The interior is going to boast a similar look to it and it's even discounted more than the Encore with a more stylish rear. Because that fastback design, it really makes this car stand out and make it look more performance driven. We're going to check and see how fast we can get this thing up to. This turbocharged three cylinder. So we're going to park it right here and give her a go. It's a smooth drive. Putting the Watts rear link suspension makes it a lot more smoother because of the way it holds itself. Also the sound deadening for Buick is one of the most quiet in class, especially when you're considering the price that you're getting. This is just a hair over 30 grand and it's all optioned up. And a lot of that is because of the acoustic windows that's throughout. They also add extra sound deadening in the chassis areas where it's exposed underneath the hood. And when you add the Bose sound system, you're going to get noise cancelization that's installed in the headliner. This thing's in like hundred plus thousand dollar vehicles. As you saw going over imperfections, it isn't bad. You have a little bit of a hangover in the front. It's not necessarily something to be too concerned about. And let's see how she is on some corner.
holds itself smooth. Hitting higher RPMs, you will hear the engine. Otherwise, it is very quiet. Upgraded 19 inch wheels, soaking up any in the bumps or imperfections in the road. It's gonna take me to some pros and cons. Starting with the pros, you get a lot for your money. When you go to Honda, you're gonna be spending four or $5,000 minimum more to get similar features to this. And you have options in every trim. You don't have to go up to the Avenir, but if you go to the Avenir, Pretty much get everything you still will have to option a few features which is kind of a dislike and going to another con would be into the rear the door they take out the little carbon fiber look that's in the front and they really strip out as much soft materials and just give the bare necessities with another con going to the armrest in the back it's only on the Avenir trim going to some more pros you get a large screen digital gauge cluster the con you're only getting a single climate control on all trims when you get to the Avenir leather appointed front seats leatherette for the sport touring and cloth for the preferred but again when you're at a low twenty thousand dollars Buick used to be known for more of a luxury line just a hair underneath Cadillac now they're giving you that luxury at a discounted price and adding a bit of a performance twist to the vehicle. Now we're going to see again on the daily use. I like how it holds itself. You feel low to the ground. It feels wide in the front fascia even though it's small and compact. You don't have that long length because it's only 182.6 inches long. And because we have the blind spot monitoring, you don't really have to worry about blind spots. There's a little bit in the back from the styling on the rear, but it's not as bad as the Mazda CX-30. As for interior space, headroom is good in all rows plus leg room, which makes it a little bit more desirable if you're going on a long journey. So I'm gonna just slide this back all the way. And I mean, I could barely, I could touch the pedals, obviously I'm six foot three, it's just a little bit of a joke. But you have so much room, I kinda wish it had cushion extensions, but when you're talking about a $31,000 car, you're not really expecting to get as much as you're getting here. Cargo capacity could be a little bit more, but it's also a smaller interior. If you need more, you can go up the trim to the Encore, which is a few grand more, and you'll get nearly 20 cubic feet more interior cargo space. Also, you have a little bit more headroom for the rear, and the design to that has been refreshed also. So I think Buick is going in the right direction because they're giving you tier levels, and it's very similar to Mercedes and BMW, the way they're structuring it. It's not comparable to them, don't get me wrong not in performance but for the amenities that you're getting I think that they really have pushed a lot more so than Honda Toyota Hyundai and it feels sporty even though it doesn't have that underneath the hood braking in the vehicle I mean this is six pistons I'm just playing <laughs> it's gonna be standard it's not that heavy of a vehicle so you're not too concerned really with that obviously don't go super crazy but you also have frontal pedestrian detection and frontal collision indicator so it will alert you that's what this little thing is here you'll see the lights light up red indicating that your person in front of you is basically at a stop you need to slow it down in the turn radius it's about two lanes And a little bit of vitamin D from the moonroof. With the competition being higher and the features that you're getting, plus safety features and the styling, I mean, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Coast Buick Port Ritchie for giving us this 2024 Buick Invista Avenir for our car review.